Argentino-Americano Diego Garcia released a beautiful melancholy record in late 2011. In the process of recording Lara, this former punk rocker discovered a sound completely different to the music he once made with his former band Elephant. The result, nine amazing songs that have won him a whole new audience and critical acclaim. Stay. Stay with me. You're my angel. Diego, tell us where we are and what we're doing here. We're in Santa Monica at McCabe's Guitar Shop, and I think in a little bit I'm doing a show. Your album has won over critics and fans alike. Is there anything specific that you think that it has made people connect so strongly to your first solo album? You know, it's sincere, it's honest, it's from the heart, and um, it sounds original. And I think those are the ingredients that, that generally um, reach people. I think that's why they dig it, because it's real. NPR has named you one of their top 25 artists, along the likes of Adele, Bon Iver, Bright Eyes. What does it feel like to be in that category of those amazing artists? Amazing. It's so nice, you know. Life's good. Um, I made a record I love, um, I'm proud of. You sort of uh, need to just kind of you know, make that a priority in the studio. I think those artists all do that, so it's, it's it feels good. Roses and white, crimson and time, roses and white. You talk so slowly. I think most people know that this album, it was written about your ex-girlfriend at the time, who is now your wife. I wrote this record while I was getting over um, Laura. I sort of grew up as well over those four years. I think that has a lot more to do with the fact that she's back with me than the record. Tell us about the musicians that accompany you, because they seem to fit your music and your vibe so well. well they're all man-made. We constructed them in uh, robots. test tubes yeah, yeah. and stuff like that so that they would be perfect. They're robots. Cool, perfect. Yeah. No, no, you know, the irony with this solo project uh, is that if almost more of a band than what Elephant was in many ways, you know. Danny, who's my cellist, who's with me, uh, who recorded the record with me, he's like a brother. Speaking of Danny's, what was it like working with uh, Danny Harrison? Danny, Danny George Harrison. George Harrison's yeah. son, right? Oh, D, well, he's, he's a brother. I went to school with him, university. Oh, so you guys have known each other for a long yeah, time? Yeah, we were in a band together at Brown, mainly covering like Iggy Pop songs. I just called him, we hooked up, and I was at his house with this song I hadn't really put words to yet. I had the chorus, you know, you were never there, girl, you never That's cared. My and um, a year passed, and we tweaked the song, and, and here it is. It's, it's a beautiful song, and yeah, I, I wrote it with him. You are behind the wall. point in any song did you feel like you're being maybe too open too vulnerable with with the world no no i think that's what makes you an artist you don't have that that filter vulnerability is what it's about we created a setting where i, I wouldn't feel like i was being watched or that's really important as well we um you know made it comfy for me and i had danny you know caress my hair as i said massage and, your yeah, feet while and uh, enjoy the producer would you know put on a dress and, and hand feed you hamburgers yeah it was a very strange things you do in the studio but, but it, it worked it did because you never care you were never there now that you've gotten this album out of your system so to speak what do you think's next for you you're right i i got this record out of my system you, know, you did it's, it's something i, I don't want to do again you know, I'm, I'm in a different place now. But I do have all these leftovers that I didn't feel fit the album that I'm looking forward to sort of just finally finishing when I get some time. Because I am writing the second record. I hear it and uh, I was working on it today, actually. It seems to be picking up where Laura and I sort of left off uh, when we first got back together, that, that, that epic night in Rome. We kind of reunited there. And so I feel like the record picks up there and the story continues. Thank you so much for, for doing this interview with us and we can't wait to go see you perform. Thank you. Es Música is the only app delivering El Sabor de Latinoamérica, Spain and the US. All the groundbreaking sounds from today's Latin music. The best thing, I got it on my iPhone for free. Get it today. Search Es Música free in the App Store.